In this video, I will first cover how to set up the Unity ML agents environment on your Mac computer so you can run existing AI models or train your own custom models. But more importantly, I'll show you how to modify the code such that you can use your GPU when training the AI models as opposed to your CPU. Specifically, if you have an Uber Mac computer with an Apple Silicon chip, Basically, if your laptop has an M series chip like the M1 or the M2 Max or the M3 Pro, etc., you will need to do some specific modifications to the code to be able to use your GPU when training the AI models. The general steps of the installation can be found in the docs, but it is kind of hard to follow, so here are the steps. First, you need to get this code on your computer. To clone this repo, either run the git clone command with this URL or use github desktop. Once it is downloaded, open the project in Unity Hub. Specifically, choose the project folder. Once you have the Unity project open, navigate to one of the many example scenes they have. I chose the grid world since it's a visually heavy example, which means it'll be easier to tell if the GPU is being used or not. If you hit play on this scene right now, you will see that the agents will start playing. But they're in inference mode. This means that right now they are using the already trained model brain and not doing any learning. Once you have the Python backend ML agents running, you will once again come back here and hit play, but this time it will actually use the machine learning algorithms to train these agents from scratch. So let's move on to that part. The GitHub repository you cloned actually also includes the Python packages in it as well. So that means we will be able to build these packages in Python, but first we need to set up our Python environment. First, make sure you have Conda installed, which is a Python package manager. I personally just followed the installing instructions and I was able to get it working. You can confirm if it is working by running Conda list on your terminal. If it says Conda not found, try restarting your terminal or resourcing your bash profile first. Now, open a terminal on the ML agents directory, the GitHub repo that you cloned. Then run this exit command to start your virtual environment and download the packages. Now once you're in the virtual environment, we will build the ML agents packages, but users often hit two roadblocks, but because I'm special, I actually hit three of them. And now I will cover each one of these issues and how to fix them. The special one for me was that I had the wrong version of Python set up. So in order to fix that, I suggest using PyEnv. It's basically a Python version manager. So you can just visit their GitHub repo for the installing instructions. But once you install it, you can confirm it by running pyenv-v. And then once you got that down, you can install the correct Python version, set the version on this shell or your terminal window, and finally confirm it is set by running this. Now the actual two common issues a lot of people had have to do with CMake and Protobuf, which are also packages used by ML agents to do training. For me, what worked was following the exact instructions on this GitHub issue, which modifies the code on the ML agent's Python package folder. Basically, you need to go and make some minor version changes on three packages, and you need to find these files first by running Ctrl P and then typing out the file names. Just for good measure, you can also try reinstalling the gRPCO package using conda instead of pip by running these commands if you are still having issues. But once you made those modifications, you should be able to download and set up those ML agents Python packages by just running these commands again. Now you can see if the ML agents Python package is working by running this command. If you got a bunch of instructions printed out, that means the package is working. At this stage, you can literally start training your own AI models. On the same terminal, if you run this, you should see a Unity logo on the terminal. This means that the Python backend is ready to train some AI models. If you hit play on your Unity editor, the agents will start training. The package is built so that if you have an NVIDIA GPU installed or any GPU that can use the CUDA framework, which I believe are only NVIDIA GPUs, it will do so. But if you're on an Apple Silicon laptop, you'll see that the Python process is killing your CPU and not even touching your GPU. Well, if you couldn't tell by comparing the NVIDIA and Intel stock prices over the last few years, GPUs are better suitable for training AI models. And damn it, if I pay $3,000 for my MacBook Pro, I will make sure I will use every single one of those GPU cores. The following changes aren't confirmed anywhere. I found them with some trail and error, and ironically asking ChatGPT. This might break stuff or not work in a future version, so you have been warned. We need to go to the Python ML agents package, but not the one in the Unity repo you cloned. That would be like the instruction book. We need to go to the actual pip package that was built. The package will exist in your virtual environment folder named VN or something, but because I used conda this time and I'm not used to it, I actually wasn't sure where that folder was. So 
To find out where the package is built, you need to run this command on your terminal. Once I did, it printed out the file path to the build ML agents package. So for the next step, I just ran open the file path on my terminal, which opens a file explorer window where that package exists. And once you have the folder open in front of you, you need to open this folder in your code editor of your choice and add in the modifications for the MPS, which stands for Metal Performance Shaders, basically Apple's CUDA or the GPU acceleration framework. Thankfully, all the modifications are only in a single file. So once you save this file, you can start the ML Agents Python backend again. And if you copied my modifications exactly, it should also print out on the terminal if the MPS framework was detected. So now, when you hit play in the Unity Editor, the PyTorch package, which is what ML Agents uses under the hood, should start using your GPU for the training. And you can see that the GPU is firing up on the activity monitor. I will not go over setting up your custom agent training scene in this video. There are a ton of examples and good documentation in Unity's ML Agents GitHub repo, so I just you check them out. But I just want to note that GPU acceleration might not be the best choice for all AI training. For example, I recently found out that if you're using the PPO trainer type, which is the default one, it isn't actually optimized to be trained using a GPU. So you might be better off just keeping the CPU training. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. And have fun training your custom AI agents. Hope to see you next time.